never happens. Anymore. Well, I can't I imagine that it has. Twenty-one times. Right. So twenty-two. I didn't go there. Her. All I wanted was to get money from him. So I probably I thought he was rich. So I could go there, get his money. I was gonna leave him there. I had this hammer. I was gonna hit him. So it was mad. I didn't want to hurt him. I was gonna tie him up and scare him. I didn't know that lady was going to be there. I went to it because I heard a noise and I just wanted to go in and look. And she attacked me. Everything happened so fast. I swear to God. I was just going to tie him up, tape him up, shut the door, go. I didn't know anything. I was going to take his card. I even begged him for the number. I wrote it down. But he had a seven-digit number or something. And I know the accounts were four-digit. I had account. He wouldn't tell me. I tried to leave. I did. I left. I, I wasn't going to. I didn't want that lady. To shoot. I thought she was going to kill me. I just, I don't know what to do. I, everything happened fast, I swear to God. And I left from there. I had it, I was, I was going like this. I was just trying to scare him. Give me the money, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I saw his picture, so I said, it's wife. I, I never thought about money, and I swear to God. And that he wouldn't tell me anything. So then, I was tired, I didn't want to hurt the guy. Then I knew there was somebody there talking to him. And I heard some noise, so then I said, I was scared, maybe you should call the police. So I threw everything in, I left, I said, listen, this guy, he's, he's no good, he's a man, I just, that's mine, please go. And she wouldn't, let's go in the bathroom, she would, I was got her. She, I, I don't know my name, she was a blonde girl, I don't know. So then, please, I, I was going to the bathroom, and she started kicking me. So then I heard her eh. so then I ran. I didn't know what I was going to do. I wanted to go to Hawaii with this money. I never was going to touch it. I thought, go to Hawaii, I'm all, I would rest me. I mean, my mother would get better. I packed stuff for her, diapers and everything, to take her away. I wasn't, I swear to God, I, you could, I'll, I never have a misdemeanor. I had parking tickets as a kid. I lived in that building for 40 years. The worst thing I did was asking people for a few dollars because I was, I was on the drugs, but I never stole, I paid for it. My brain was tired, I found it accidentally. The medication was so hard to get. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that woman, I didn't know her. I didn't know she was going to be there. I called to make sure that he was going to be there. I didn't know. I thought it was his own office. I didn't know any. I called Gracie Square. This is his office. I wrote it down. I went there. I, I knocked on the door just to see if anyone was going to be there. I know his last phone was 8 o'clock. I said, do you know where the bathroom is? The secretary I said, I, I just wanted to, I figured, she said, yes, she left. And I left. And then I waited in the bathroom. And I heard everybody leave. I swear to God, everybody leave because I, I wasn't going to hurt anybody. Please, please remember this. I swear to God, my mother's life. You have a mother, I swear to God. And then 